Welcome to another sneak peek of SolidWorks 2015 where today we're going to take a look at a completely new tool in SolidWorks called Treehouse. Treehouse allows you to start building assembly structures from the ground up without the need to even create any 3D geometry or even be inside of SolidWorks. Let's take a look at what we mean. I am going to go over to to SolidWorks to explain what we're going to do. In this example, we have an existing rotating engine design. It's a horizontally opposed configuration, and we want to create a new assembly structure similar to this in an inline configuration where all the pistons are vertically arranged. For this, we'll need to generate a new crankshaft, a new timing sprocket, but for the most part, we'll be able to reuse most of the components in this design. Inside of Treehouse, we can do just this and start laying out new assemblies by utilizing our document templates inside of SolidWorks. Double clicking on any icon, we can simply start entering information about these designs. For example, things such as the description and the project name. These are actually using the custom properties found inside of the file. So when the files are eventually created, all that information will be there. One of the things we mentioned was the need for a new crankshaft. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and quickly specify the name of this document. But one of the other things we need to consider is this crankshaft is going to need a couple of new configurations. One for the casting and one for the machine version. Inside a treehouse, we can capture this information early too. In this case, we'll go ahead and create a new configuration called casting and another new one called machined. The configuration being referenced can be changed at any time from a quick pull down and we can change that and see that visually in the graphics area. Likewise, we mentioned we were going to need a new timing sprocket as well. So let's quickly add that document also. Finally, many of the components in this design can be reused from the existing design we already saw. For this, I'm going to go over to Windows Explorer. I want four copies of this piston assembly and four copies of this connecting rod assembly. To do this, I simply need to drag and drop the, the document from Windows Explorer into Treehouse and specify a quantity. In this case, I'm going to specify that I want to have four connecting rods and also four piston assemblies. Once we start laying this out, you can see from the preview all the graphical information that already exists and the components that will be used. At this point in time, we can actually allow Treehouse to start building the assembly in SolidWorks by simply choosing to export this to our SolidWorks documents. Choose the location where you want the files to be saved and press OK. Once that's done, inside of Windows Explorer, you can see that SolidWorks not only created the new assembly document with all the components, but also the two new files we specified. As you can see, Treehouse is a great way to get started on your designs early on.